So, Winston, that was a fiery speech. Is your tank full, ready for the fight? <laughs> well, strangely enough, but the tank never runs out if you're committed. Uh, and we are certainly committed in this campaign. I, I felt the overriding theme throughout the whole speech was that you're fighting for working Kiwis, people with jobs and people who want to work but, yes. but can't work at the moment. No, you're right. and They can't get good enough jobs and they can't get long enough work. There's a lot of people out there who can't get 40 hours a week. These are things that are not measured properly. They have false measurements like, for example, if you're one hour employed a week, then you go off being the unemployed to being employed. Just like that. Now, these are fictitious uh, guidelines. So, yeah, I am, and New Zealand First is committed to the working people of this country because they've been utterly forgotten. Well, one of the points that you mentioned was challenging corruption. Yes. And those duking of the stats yes. would be an element of that type of corruption that exists. And Reality Check Radio listeners are particularly interested in the damage that was caused by the mandates of the Ardern regime yes. and also through the mandates forced vaccinations and the harms that have occurred with that. Are you committed to redressing some of those things as well? Well, look, first of all, on the question of measuring employment, we said to Labour, we can't go on with what we've inherited. These measurements are fictitious, so change it, but they wouldn't. And on the question of mandates, when we were never part of the endeavour to mandate people out of work, once we knew what we were dealing with, and it took about seven months to find out what we were dealing with, or when we did, we believed that the mandating of people out of work and out of existence was simply illegal, and we still think so. The other elements almost were a wartime-like footing that you were talking about, your war on wokeism, your war on crime, your war on uh, separatism. Was that deliberate that you were focusing on those themes? It sounded like that. Yes, it was deliberate because we were at a stage that I've never seen in my whole life. And I've been in politics for a long time, longer than probably anybody else of late, but I've never seen our democracy is so much under threat. And the consequences of that will be failure in all the other areas of human development like education, housing, and health, which is critical for the, the population. Yeah, so it is a wartime speech. We want a war on these policies of failure and turn things around. Two of the key things that I, I heard were your willingness to unravel this race-based policy, particularly in health, which is so critical to New Zealanders, yeah. Yeah. but also uh, across all the other areas that we've had these race-based policies introduced. The only way we're gonna make it is with unity. Division has a certain huge, significant international uh, examples that lead to failure. You look at countries where they're not united, or they've not uh, got shared values or shared objectives. They are all failures. Countries that are uni united and population unified, being different, but nevertheless having accepted agreed standards, uh, are also successful countries. And probably the, the policy that you've announced today that's gonna get the biggest headline is New Zealand First is alone uh, in being a party that can actually deliver this, and it's a big promise, and that's to exempt basic foods and items yeah. from GST. Yes. And I can imagine ACT and National in particular are going to have kittens over that. Are you going to strangle those kittens? Well, the reality is, if they don't understand how tough it is for so many people today at the cost of living, and how they've got to be given relief right here, right now, then I don't know what they're doing in politics. And that's why we're demanding that it be addressed right now like in other first world economies. And please don't tell us it won't work because it's working in a whole lot of countries that are far better off than us. Is let's take back our country the catch cry for New Zealand first for this election? Yes, our country has been stolen from us. And that's why our slogan is, let's take back our country. Take back our country from whom? The uh, UN? From, no, from a whole lot of people, Globalists? both internally and externally, who would take away and deny in our democracy, our people's sovereignty. The people are masters here still. That's the essence of democracy. So what you're saying is that New Zealand First wants to put New Zealand first. It's in our name. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Winston. <laughs> Thank you very much.